So, man, were you always open? Did you tell Stocko or Donovan? I mean, I know you got the 75 cash here, but could, I mean, you were always open, weren't you? Yeah, no matter what. Uh, I mean, I know double coverage is, is essentially uh, something that they might relate to uh, basketball, but no matter what, uh, hey, coach, Stocko, Tyler Donovan, Alan Everidge, Justin Shear. Hey, you guys got to pass me the ball. The whole team could have been on some way. I would have got over. Uh, that was just uh, that was just how I rolled in. Uh, I'm still open until today. I understand. <laughs> gotcha. We call Mertz right now. We sneak you in there tomorrow. So growing up, uh, the book on you, you, you played against a lot of older older kids, right? Uh, what was that like at the time? And how? Much did that? How much better did that make you as your career progressed? Yeah, so I think um, I, I think the best way for um, us as humans is to be challenged. Um, and I always played against guys that were bigger, stronger, faster uh, than me. And I think that's the way that I, I found myself. Just uh, being so young and not necessarily having all of the confidence in the world, but just knowing that um, I was able to hold my own uh, against guys that were older, bigger, stronger, faster than me. And um, that's the kind of mindset that I took the rest of my career. Uh, Johnny mentioned in the video, um, it's relatively well documented, but it's worth bringing up certainly on this stage, your transition from outside linebacker, defensive line, to tie it in. Take us through that conversation you had with your coach. Yeah, uh, yeah like, so the, the transition was, was tough. Obviously coming out of high school, I was the number six linebacker in the country. Um, and going to Wisconsin, um, I had my mindset. I wanted to be the best, the newest linebacker um, at the university. Um, and things didn't pan out. I mean, sometimes with you being yourself um, and being the man in high school um, and, and everybody telling you what you want to hear, that's, that's all you know. So then you go to the university and uh, you're a small fish in a big pond. And there's guys, uh, my, my recruiting class was awesome. Um, and just even guys that were there uh, currently were awesome. And it's just trying to find a way uh, to make your way. Uh, and to fit and to play at the University of Wisconsin. Uh, so it was, it was bowl practice um, for, I want to say... Uh, Auburn? Yep, yeah, I was thinking of the blue and red, or blue and white team, whatever colors they are. Uh, my asthma acting up, but... You kicked your tails, doesn't yeah. matter. Uh, so hopefully there's not any Auburn fans in here. <laughs> Um, but no, so I, I, we were uh, in bowl prep for those guys. Um, went out, um, was on scout offense, um, and was running routes, and it just felt natural. I was like, man, it's like I can do this for the rest of my career. I can, I can see myself do this, doing this for a living. So I went to uh, Coach Bielema at first and, and kind of said it to him, and uh, he kind of laughed. <laughs> so I kept the same face. <laughs> well, what are you laughing at? I said, I'm being serious. So uh, he said, well, we'll try it out. Went to, coach, uh, went to Coach Chris, and Coach Chris is, I'm the biggest supporter of Coach Chris. And uh, went to Coach Chris, and he said, well, let's try it out. And it was just natural um, after that. Um, I think it came down to like the fifth game of the season. Um, John Stocko against Michigan um, threw me the ball probably I think I had three catches that game, but they were three catches late in the end of the game that kind of earned my trust with him. Um, and then after that, it was, it was, it was at home. So I'm very fortunate. An amazing career. What you did at Wisconsin, as Patrick mentioned, Super Bowl champ. I mean, beyond your wildest dreams, or as you were growing up, you thought, yeah, I, I do this. I yeah, uh, I mean, my dream was always to, to play in the NFL, um, and uh, to win a Super Bowl was that much more. Um, but now, uh, I mean, this, I mean, this is this is awesome. And uh, me being from Wisconsin, uh, just having the support that I did uh, from this state, 
playing football at this university. Um, I mean, especially after hearing all of these accolades, like it's it's just unbelievable. Especially, uh, I mean, you hear stuff from Reggie and and Hillary. I don't know. I think they might have had two pages for Hillary. Um, but, but it's just it's just it's kind of one of those things that um, you look at and you dream of. And it happens, and, and now you're sitting up here, and, and I'm telling my story, and it, it, it's unbelievable. I'm very fortunate. And to your teammates, from John Clay and Brian Calvin, and I've asked a couple here tonight. I want to ask you as well. The coolest thing about being a University of Wisconsin student athlete, how that helped form the man you are today. Yeah, so, the the coolest thing is the fact um, that, obviously, me being from Wisconsin, uh, but. This is home, um, and, it, and it's kind of weird because I felt like I've been closer with UW um, more recently in the last year, and it, it, it's natural. And I don't have to go out and, and put on an app, but I just think, I just think uh, from, from Nick uh, at, the, at the W Club, um, and just, just, just the support that everyone has given me, um, always seeing you, uh, always. I, I also DJ and you know, and I always play a touchdown, Travis back on first down, and I'm like, man, <laughs> I didn't know that. Very flat. Well, now you do. So, <laughs> now, now it's copyright. Now I'm at the pay. But, but no, it, it, it's it's just, it's, just, it's, just, it's, just, it's it's just the fact that this this is home, and I think that. Um, when, I, when I'm sitting in my office and it may be so little to me uh, because I've done it and I, I've experienced it before, but just uh, being on camera with, with, with certain people and seeing that W uh, on that helmet that's on my, on my bookshelf is, is unbelievable. And I'm, I'm, I'm very glad to be able to represent the state. You are so deserving. It's been great reconnecting with you here this fall. Look forward to a long relationship that you're helping us out with the broadcast this year. Um, you're awesome. You're an awesome inductee. Very deserving. Travis, I want to give you a chance to thank those who you'd like to thank right now. I appreciate it. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, so I mean, so there's a lot of people. Uh, I mean, especially my family. Uh, I mean, we, we've gone through ups and downs. Um, it's just, I, I think that going back uh, to listening to every, what everybody else says, I think family is first, and um, that's my go-to. That's, that, that's, my, that's my key. That's my foundation. Um, and tonight, I wanted to make sure, uh, I get the longest speech, too, because I'm the last person, right? Stage is yours. Okay, because I hope. They said they got coffee after. <laughs> well, uh, so it's just, I, I think that everyone in the row um, that I mean, I think it's a fourth row. Uh, I think everyone had a different uh, impact on my life. There's a lot of people that uh, were there when I was at UW. There's people there that um, were there when I was in high school. Uh, my buddy Joe, I'm not going to point him out, is a cop now. Um, he was the one that always made me try to fight people, and I'm like. <laughs> So, it's just crazy how the world has changed. Is this live? <laughs> Social media is going crazy, so, don't worry about it. But no, it, it's, just, it's just everyone in this role has had a huge impact on my life. I'm very fortunate, um, and I'm very blessed to be in the position that I am now, and now, um, and um, to be able to represent this university um, with all of the other inductees. Uh, I mean, this is awesome. This is, this, is, this is awesome, and uh, I want to thank Chris McIntosh uh, for giving me that phone call that day. Um, I was on the phone call. I was making a ton of phone calls. I was actually on the phone with one of my best friends, Trina, that's actually in the audience. Uh, she was really mean to me that day. Uh, so I got off the phone with her and then got a random call. I didn't know if she was calling me from like a block number or whatever it was. Different number. It wasn't hers. So it's Chris McIntosh. And so uh, he goes, hey, Travis, uh, I just want to let you know uh, two things is the fact that um, I hope you and your family enjoyed the tickets that I gave you, and then two were inducted into the Hall of Fame. And I'm like, who is Trina? <laughs> <laughs> I 
So he, and I don't know, he was like, okay, I don't know what this guy's going, what, what, what's going on in his head? But the moral of the story is that, uh, the, it, I told you, I'm the last person. I can stay up here all night. Um, but no, it, it, it's, it, it's, I'm very blessed to have everyone here uh, in the audience uh, from my side as well as everybody else's side representing the UW. Um, this is a, a huge accomplishment, accomplishment in my life um, and for, will forever um, hold a spot in my heart, so I'm very fortunate.